Good evening, students. Myself, Dr. Kishwasan Ram Sharma, Associate Professor, EC Department. Today, we are going to discuss about our second unit, Butterworth Problems in Discrete Time Signal Processing. So, first of all, we are going to see about what is Butterworth Filter. So, Butterworth Filter is a, a one type of analog filter in the IR filter design. So, here the magnitude response of the Butterworth filter is decreases monotonically as the frequency omega increase in 0 to pi. The magnitude response of the Butterworth filter closely approximates the ideal response as the order of the n increases. The poles of the Butterworth filter lies on this circle. If the order of the filter increases, which the ideal response of the order of the n increases means filter closely approximates. Here the problem, design a Butterworth filter for the following response. The value is 0.8 less than or equal to mod j for j omega less than or equal to 1 for 0 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to 0 0.2 pi and mod h of v for j omega is equal to less than or equal to 0 0.2 for the value is 0 0.6 pi less than or equal to omega less than or equal to pi with t is equal to 1 seconds. Apply by linear transformation. So here the values of the alpha 1 is equal to 0 0.8, alpha 2 is equal to 0 0.2, omega 1 is equal to 0 0.2 pi, omega 2 is equal to 0.6 pi. So first one is we are going to convert the omega value into normal analog omega. The formula is omega 1 is equal to 2 by t tan omega 1 by 2. For substituting the values we get analog omega omega 1 is equal to 0.6498. And omega 2, where formula is 2 by 2 tan omega 2 by 2. Here also we are going to convert the omega into the analog omega. The value is 2.7527. Then we are going to substitute the order of the filter again. N is always greater than or equal to root of log root of 1 10 power point on alpha p minus 1 divided by log of root of 10 power point on alpha p minus. 1 the whole divided by log of omega is divided by omega p. We are going to substitute all the values. We get n is always greater than or equal to 1.3. So the formula itself says that the n is always greater than 1.3. So we are going to substitute n is equal to 2. Now we are going to calculate the cutoff frequency. Omega c is equal to omega 1 divided by 10 root of 10 power point on alpha p minus 1. The whole divided by 1 by 2n. By substituting these values, cutoff frequency omega c is equal to 0.75. And when the transfer function is equal to even means then we are going to substitute the given formula the values is h of s equal to 0.75 squared divided by s squared plus 1.414 into 0.75 s plus 0.75 squared and then we are going to convert this analog transfer function h of s into the Digital transfer function h of z, where s is replaced by 2 by t into z power minus 1 divided by z plus 1. Now the h of s will be replaced into h of z. So the h of z is equal to 0.5625 divided by 2 by t z power minus 1 divided by z plus 1 the whole square plus 1.06 into z power 2 divided by t into z power minus 1 divided by z plus 1 plus 0.5625. By applying the values, we finally get the 0 0.5625 z square plus 1.125 z plus 0 0.5625 divided whole divided by 4 z square minus 8 z plus 4 minus 2.12 z square minus 2.12 plus 0 0.5625 z square plus 1.125 z plus 0 0.5625 is the final h of z value.